Hi Stampers, this is Linda Goldhurst with Snowberry Stampers and I want to thank you for joining me today for this month's product spotlight featuring the Garden Birdhouses stamp set. It is a photopolymer stamp set and um, I've really had a lot of fun going on Pinterest, seeing what was out there and creating some projects for you using this set today. So let's get started. The first card is using the Stitched So Sweetly um, dies, and it's this large die here. It's already been cut for you. And your parts and pieces are that piece and just a white card base, okay? And what I did is I used the blending brushes and the balmy blue ink, and then the tree branch and the birdhouse and the bird were stamped using early espresso. The colors that I colored on the, um, on the birdhouse were, let's see, cherry cobbler, soft suede, and the bird was done in balmy blue, and the leaves were done in mossy meadow. But really, you can use any combination of colors. So very sweet. I fold, I tied a bow with the linen thread, adhered that with a glue dot, and this die is popped up on dimensionals. Okay, so that one is fairly straightforward. Card number two. Right. So I used the um, greenery embossing folders and I already embossed your layer. Okay. And so you can see that on there. That looks really pretty. And this is on soft succulent cardstock. The um, the DSP here has two pieces of cardstock, Evening Evergreen cardstock, just glued to either side and then glued to the front of the card. All right. Um, let's see what else we got here. All right. So you've got the square is already cut and the die is already cut here, okay? And you've got an extra piece to do your birdhouse. The inside has a little bit more going on. You've got a layer of evening evergreen and then the very vanilla and then the piece of DSP goes down the side and then that gets mounted onto the inside of the card. Alright. Um, so I wanted to show you. So I did I did stamp on the envelope as well, but I wanted to show you that flick technique here, which you can see behind the birdhouse. There's a little bit of green flecking going on. So you can go ahead and stamp the branches. I did it twice and I stamped in gray granite. Um, and then I colored with evening evergreen and soft succulent in here. All right, the birdhouse was also stamped in gray granite and um, colored with one of the yellows. I don't remember, oh, it was so saffron, okay? Um, so let me show you, I took a regular marker and on the felt tip side, you just insert the tip into the cap and then just gently flick. It's not going to harm the marker. And just don't want anything else around it because it will splatter on other things. So here you can see a little bit of the splatter. So now I'll stamp the branches and then the bird, <clears throat> excuse me, the birdhouse is popped up on dimensionals and this layer is popped up as well. 
and you've got a bumblebee trinket in there and you've got some gilded gems just to give it a little bit more and the gold twine is new in the catalog but it's a comeback we've had it before <clears throat> and so it's wrapped around tied in a bow and then as i said this is mounted on dimensionals okay so that's card number two Card number three is this sweet card. And this was cased from Marcy Denning on YouTube. <coughs> so you've got, let's see. Like that. I've already cut the tags for you. And the tags come from Tailor Made Tags. They're both the same size, this largest one over here with the square top. All right. The white one is sponged with a little bit of uh, balmy blue. I used a blender brush, but you can use daubers or a sponge, whatever you've got. And there is a piece of lace, and it was just adhered to the back of the tag, so it ran from this corner down to the bottom. So you'll have to snip it a little bit and play with it. Okay. These two are then glued together, and then you've got the little topper here for the top of the tag, okay? And then I put a piece of linen thread through, tied a bow. This is glued directly onto the DSP. The only thing that's popped up is the birdhouse and the stick for the birdhouse. You've got the flowers and three little pearls. You see that? Okay. I colored the house in balmy blue, so saffron and gray granite. Okay, and then on the inside, just a little bit of the flower and the DSP across the bottom. Sweet card, isn't it? Okay. All right, so that's card number three. Right. And last is a 3D project. Really kind of sweet little banner that you can hang on. You can change the greeting from welcome to something else. Um, in... Stamp set. You've got hello, so you can just do hello or birthday wishes. And I thought you could hang this on a bottle of wine. Um, yeah, or just have it as a um, attachment to any kind of a, a present, a gift, a package. Okay, so let me show you how that's done. You've got a piece of cardstock, and the cardstock is three and a half by three and a half. And what you're going to do is measure up one inch from either side, and the center would be one and three quarters. So what you're going to do then is put it in your trimmer, or you can do it with a scissor, and you're going to cut from this point to this point, and this point over to this point. And that will give you the, um, the shape of the banner, okay? And then what you would do is adhere the DSP and then trim that to the same shape. You've got a piece of ribbon that is tied around the entire thing. I did put a glue dot on the back here just so it doesn't slide off. It was easier to tie that way as well. And then I just tied a little knot so it would cover the seam. Um, the Whisper White gets stamped and then gets placed right in there. You might have to trim that down a little bit, depending upon how you, um, where you placed your your DSP. So I want to take that back. I want to you want to stamp this first, adhere it, and then put the DSP on top. Okay. And when you're stamping, remember that some of this is going to be covered by DSP, so stamp it a little bit higher than you normally would. Okay? 
Then the straw, this is just a regular old drinking straw. I think I picked these up at the Dollar Tree. Um, you just cut it down to just a little bit longer. I, well, it's already cut for you, but you would cut it just a little bit longer than the three and a half inches. So I think this is three and three quarters. And all I did was run a bead of glue underneath and um, just gave that a second to set up. And then I ran my thread through it. Okay. And you've also got a bumblebee trinket for that as well. So this is really cute. I think I'm going to make the next the next one for our birthday and then just put that on top of a gift. All right. If you've got any questions, please feel free to reach out. I'm always available for you. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Enjoy playing with garden birdhouses. Take care.